What's up guys, this is Justin from Ultimate Baseball Training. I have a great quick and effective drill series for you infielders out there. So the very first thing that you're going to need um, is an agility ladder. If you don't have one, you can get some athletic tape, put it on the concrete, uh, and that'll do the exact same thing, okay? Just make your own boxes or sidewalk chalk, be creative, uh, you know, just figure out some way that you can have something like an agility ladder. Uh, but you can pick these up at your local sporting goods store for next to nothing. So the very first thing is we don't need a glove. We're gonna start out by warming up our feet because as infielders, you can't have lazy feet. When you're going to ground balls, your feet have to be always moving. They have to be active. You have to have good feet if you wanna play baseball at a high level. So an agility ladder is one of the perfect ways to work on your foot speed and work on you know your hand and foot coordination. So there's plenty of different agility ladder drills you can do. I'm gonna show you a few of the ones that I personally like to do. So you can start off with just going one foot in each like this. So one foot in every single box. Okay, that's very, very simple. Then you can do two feet in every single box. Boom, boom, boom. And something I really wanna to stress to you guys, it's important to get the footwork done properly first before you worry about the speed. So get the footwork down, make sure you're not screwing up the ladder, and then once you get the footwork down, then you can start working on your speed. So we've done one foot in each, two foot in each. Now I like to call this one the icky shuffle. So we're gonna go like this. I'm to the side of the agility ladder. We're gonna go right, left, right, left. Left, right, left, right. Boom, 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 boom. Just like that all the way down. So this is the icky shuffle. And you'll notice my hands aren't just staying down by my side like this. I'm incorporating my hands, okay? Make sure you, you do that because the quicker you can move your arms and your hands, the quicker your legs are gonna move. Then I like to do ski jumps. Pretty simple. Just like that, okay? And something that you can do with your glove and a partner is you can actually have your glove and have a partner have a ball and you can go two feet in a box and then he can, he can roll you a ball or toss you a ball, whatever, and then you can jump out and you can work on your fielding technique. Or you can do this without a ball, just with your glove. Work on getting in a strong fielding position, so like this. Keeping a nice flat back. So there are tons and tons of drills you can do on the agility ladder. Too many of them for one video. Uh, but definitely start off with working on your footwork on an agility ladder or cone drills and then you're ready for the next phase which is ball handling skills. So no glove again and we're gonna have one single baseball and we're gonna work on just handling the baseball, touching the baseball. The more you touch the baseball, the more comfortable you're going to be with it in your hands. So the very first one, we're gonna get kind of in an athletic position. We're gonna start off going clockwise around our right leg, just like this. And again, you wanna start slow until you have it down and then gradually work your way up speed. Then we switch it. Go the other way. Go as fast as you can without losing the ball. Then left leg. As fast as you can without losing the baseball. Switch. Then you can actually go feet together, okay? Reverse. Then I like to do figure eights. So you're gonna spread a little bit wider. Figure eights. It's kind of like basketball dribbling drills. And then you can do around your body like this. And this is really great for working on your ball handling. And you know, those times when you bobble a ball or you get a bad hop and your, your other hand has to you know, make a play, it's just really gonna make you a more confident fielder, okay? So that's phase two. The next thing is the Nolan Arenado drill. So you're gonna grab your ball or your glove and you're just gonna get on your knees, both knees like this. You're gonna disengage your lower half you're gonna field ground ball. So straight on, forehands, backhands. Have somebody throw them to you or fungo to you, um, but really just work on your fielding skills, your receiving skills while you know disengaging the lower half. The next drill, I like to call it the one, two, three, four drill. And you're gonna have, I don't know, four, five, six baseballs. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna line them up like this. Okay, one there, one probably there, one there and one here and they're all at an angle going to my left 
So what you're gonna do, the proper footwork for an infielder is right, left, field, right, left, throw. So that's what we're gonna work on. We're gonna come up to the ball, right, left, catch, make a throw, okay? Come to the next one, right, left, catch, right, left, throw. Right, left, catch, right, left, throw. Last one, right, left, catch, right, left, throw. Okay, so if you incorporate this drill series into your game, I guarantee it's gonna make you a better infielder. So what I want you to do now, hit the thumbs up button if you like this video, and also hit that subscribe button. You'll automatically be notified whenever we release new content. Hit that subscribe button, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.